My belly became part of my, my noontime thing. Now I TiVo it. Yeah, so every night, like around 6 o'clock, if I want to pour myself a glass of wine, I'll sit and, and be uh, brought up on what Pine Valley's up to. You know, it takes some incredibly creative minds to entertain, surprise, and delight audiences for four decades of daytime television. And we are thrilled and happy to welcome two of those minds right now. Please welcome All My Children creator Agnes Nixon and executive producer Julie Carruthers. Now. <laughs> so, and I want to ask you, did you... you uh agnes did you ever have any inclination that all my children was going to become the phenomena that it came it became and stay on for 41 years heavens no <laughs> i mean when the show was 24 years old it'd be around that time people were doing their dissertations on soap opera and one woman came to see me and said she was writing her dissertation, and she said, how long did it take you to write a 24-year long-term story? <laughs> I said, honey, we were just hoping we'd get renewed after 26 right. weeks. Right. Right. <laughs> and just when, uh, when, when, Susan, when Susan auditioned for you, you knew, right, Susan, when she auditioned yes. for you, I read that you knew right away that she was right and she was special. Oh. So what was it about Susan that screamed Erica Kane to you? Well, of course, she was gorgeous, as yes. she still yes. is. <laughs> but the audition, that you had, was that when, when you were putting on the mascara? Yes. Mm -hmm. well, you see... I wanted someone who was feisty and didn't pay any attention to her mother, <laughs> as I had had to do growing up all my life, be a very good daughter. So instead of studying, she was putting mascara on. <laughs> and Mona said, don't you think you should be studying? No. <laughs> and I knew that there she was. <laughs> throw this one to you. You've had a career in daytime spanning over 25 years, the executive producer of All My Children for eight. And despite uh, budget restrictions, you have been able to create really heartwarming stories, and everyone appreciates that. Do you have one in mind that just is special to you more than any other? I think one of the stories I'm the most proud of, um, and there are quite a few, but one that stands out is the story on camera of Brock Monroe and off camera of J.R. Martinez. Yeah. Yeah. Um, involved. Yes. Uh, we had over 600 injured veterans submit themselves for the job. Mm -hmm. um, none actors and they came and auditioned. We met with them and JR's strength, courage, determination and that infectious smile of his ultimately got him the part. Yeah. Always breaking down barriers. We love it. So we thank you Agnes Nixon and Julie Carruthers. When we come back, Pine Valley's most popular residence and later on, we're making daytime history when Jenny and Greg <laughs> are reunited on our stage. We'll be right back. I've got a whole lifetime of memories here. And a whole lifetime of um, beloved characters that worked here that had such an impact on my life. I don't know how to begin to say goodbye to it. I don't know that there's a way to ever say goodbye to Pine Valley.